Here we are again. My TBR shelf is slammed full. Hello everyone. Today I'm here to share with you a video I do quite frequently on my channel and that is all the books on my TBR shelf. What does a TBR shelf mean? It means to be read. So I have a shelf exclusively on my bookcase as you see behind me that I keep all of my books that I need to read whether they be arcs, finished copies, whatever. Whatever I haven't read goes on that shelf. And I had just finished filming a video and I fill, I filled the shelf up and it is slam full. And whenever it's slam full I'm like oh, I should probably do a video about this because it's slam full. It doesn't happen to me too often, but it is now. So here we are. I'm going to share with you every single book I have on this TBR shelf. The majority of these books, I'm not going to lie to you, are arcs um, that I do plan to get to. And I do think I'm going to make a big dent in this book come August. I think hopefully half of it will be gone. But then again, every time I empty it, more books come in. And I'm very grateful for that. But yeah, there's like 47 <laughs> books on my TBR shelf, which, you know a lot not a lot some people you know it all depends actually I've come to grips with it as long as I don't have more than like 50 or 55 like I feel okay with it and like I said the majority of these are arcs and I'll definitely know I'll definitely let you know with each one of these books if I'm going to read it very very soon or I, do I think it's gonna sit on my shelf I'm gonna be realistic with you and let you know but first I'm gonna categorize these into genres so I'm gonna start with adults and I'm gonna share with you what arcs I have in the adult cat in the adult genre and then the finished copies I have if you want to take a tally let me know and also if you've read any of these and you loved it or you loved it please let me know you guys help me out so much with books I should read and books I should just you know maybe just like hold off a little bit on so please let me know your honest opinions on any of these books if you've read any of them so I'm not sharing any of the books I have on my TBR um, for April because I do plan to read those so they're separate um, so these first arcs I'm showing you come out in May I actually have how many do I have coming out in May? Yes. First up, Beach Tree by Emily Henry. This one comes out on May 19th. I am for sure reading it in May. No doubt about it. Also with um, The Tourist Attraction by Sarah Morgenthaler comes out in May. Definitely plan to read it. I like how I'm reading a beachy one and then like a snow one. I don't know. <laughs> and the last one I have in May is Real Men Knit by Quana Jackson. I'm not sure if I'm going to read this or not. I definitely plan to read it sometime. I don't know if May will be the month that I get around to it. Then I have a whole bunch of June ones. Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. Definitely reading this in June for sure. Then we have The Marriage Game by Sarah Desai. Definitely planning to check this one out or attempt to in June. And then lastly, I think lastly, yeah, in June, I have um, Always the Last to Know by Kristen Higgins. This one I may or may not. I've got like three Christian Hangle books on my TBR shelf. I should really get around to them. <laughs> um, arcs I have for adult books come out in July. That's right. Um, and that is Dear Emmy Blue by Le Leah Lewis. Definitely plan to check this one out. And What You Wish For by Catherine Center. Definitely 100% checking that one out. So those are all my arcs in the adult genre. Now I'm going to share with you all the finished copies of adult books I have. There's a lot. You know what? I lied. Not, not intentionally. <laughs> I have four arcs here that I have, but they've already come out and I failed and still haven't read them. Am I horrible? Yes, the first one has already come out in January, and that is The Tenant by Katrine Edinburgh. This is a thriller. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. Is it good? Please let me know. Seriously, if not, it's gonna probably go bye bye. <laughs> Same with The Return by Rachel Harrison. This one came out in March. January, yeah, March. So last month. Is it good? Not? Let me know. Another March one. Undercover Bromance by Lisa K. Adams. I am on the fence about reading this one. There's a sequel to the Bromance Book Club, which I liked. I didn't love. This one follows the sister of the main character in the first one, and I just loathed her. So I'm just like, I don't know if I want to read her or not. I really don't. Again, if you've read it, let me know. Oh, surprise, surprise. I have one from freaking 2019 of August. Kristen Higgins, Life and Other Inconveniences. Haven't read it yet. I'm horrible. Now finish copies. This is Our Girl's Best Friend by Jenny Colgan. Honestly, I am just not sure about this one. I actually just DNF'd a book by her because it was just so slow and nothing was happening. So if you've read this one, is it worth it or not? Here's one I will definitely read and that's Girl Gone Vira by Alicia Rye. Definitely planning to read this. I read the right swipe, loved it, so definitely going to. I have some Book of the Month books, Fate of the Fallen by Kel Cade. This is an adult fantasy book. I've heard good things about it. I definitely just need to get around to it. Recursion by Blake Crouch. I read his first book, Dark Matter, enjoyed it, but I have heard it's very similar to Dark Matter. 
as always, I'll keep on saying. If you, know, if you read it, let me know. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I'll be honest, I'm just not a huge Lee Bardugo fan. I read the Six of Crows duology. I liked it. I didn't love it. I've heard mixed reviews about this one, so I'm just very apprehensive to check it out. And the last stack, I do categories if you can't see contemporaries. Um, another Kristen Higgins book. <laughs> now that you mention it, why do I have so many that I haven't read? Um, if I Never Met You by... Oh, I forgot how you say it. Um, Varhi, Varhi McFarlane. I believe that's correct because this, she says the pronunciation on the back. Um, the Worst Best Man by Mia Soso. One Day by David Nichols. I really want to read this, but I know it's going to break my heart. That's why I haven't read it yet. Likewise with You Were There Too by Colleen Oakley. Um, then I also have New Orleans Rush by Kelly Siskind. Um, and then I have Megan Joe by Virginia Cantor. Oh, I should read this soon. I just finished Little Woman and this is a retelling of Little Woman. <gasps> That'd be a great video to do. Thought of a video idea. Oh, I actually have another TBR book that I forgot to share. Another book that's already came out that's an ARC. The Two Lives of Lydia Burr by Josie Silver. I really, really want to read this, but again, it's so sad. I, it's it's gonna stay until I'm ready to read it, which I don't know will be. So that's all the adult books I have. Holy crap, that's a lot. Let's get into the YA ones. It's always, so I'm gonna start with the arcs I have. I have a lot of YA arcs. Um, the first ones are May. So I have Four Days of Menu by Miranda Keelany. I will read this. I don't know if I'm going to read it in May. Um, for sure, I am reading Chase and Lucky by Jim Bennett. She's one of my favorite YA contemporary authors. Um, and then also in May, I have My Summer of Love and Misfortune by Lindsay Wong, which sounds like an adorable read. I definitely want to check out May. All these are June. <laughs> I'm so... If you're watching this, you're like, wow, this girl's privileged. You are a thousand percent right. I am so very lucky to get all of these books in advance, and I do really try to keep up with them. I would like to read them in advance, but I don't feel like that's fair to you guys guys. I try to review them near the release date so I can tell you if you should buy it or not or get it from the library and things like that. But thank you so much to publishers. They're amazing. Um, I have I Killed Zoe Spanos by Kit Frick. This one definitely planning to read in June. <laughs> then 10 Things I Hate About Pinky by Sanan Menon. I've read a lot of her books. We'll read it. Um, likewise with Bookish and the Beasts by Ashley Pawson. This is the third book in the Once Upon a Con series. Um, Keep My Heart in San Francisco by Amelia Diane Com Combs. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, for sure, Girl on Frame by Deb Coletti. Love Deb Coletti. And for sure, today, Tomorrow, no, Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel and Solomon. Love both of her books. So those are all the YA arcs I have. Now I'm going to finish off with the YA finished copies of books I have. I have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I bought this because I was set for review Star Sight by Brandon Sanderson. And I like Brandon, Brandon Sanderson, so I'm like, I need to read these. If you know if this is going to be series or not, please let me know. <laughs> um, and then I have the finished copy of Curses and Kisses by Sidon Menon. Still need to read it. Um, when We Were Magic by Sarah G Galley. Galley? I'm so sorry. Um, we Are the Wildcats by Siobhan Vivian. The Mat From Here to There by Emery Lord. I started this and didn't finish it because it is the sequel to the start of Me and You, I believe. And I feel like I forgot everything that happened in that book. So I felt very disconnected from that. So one day when I have time, I plan to reread the start of Me and You and then read this directly after so my mind can be fresh. I Feel Notes on Love by Jennifer E. Smith. I, there's no good reason why this is on here. It's a short book. I like Jennifer e. Smith. I know. Um, then I have Chosen by Kirsten White. This is a sequel to Slayer. It's a Buffy book. I didn't love Slayer, hence why I haven't really decided on Chosen, but I want to keep it because Buffy. <laughs> um, the Bone House is by Emily Lloyd Jones. I feel like I'm saving this for October because it's like a perfect Halloween read. If you've read it, let me know. I've said that a thousand times. Oh, The Lost Causes of Bleak, the Lost Causes of Bleak Creek by Rhett and Link. Rhett and Link, Good Mythical Morning. I watch that every morning. My son is obsessed with Good Mythical Morning now, so I need to read this soon. <laughs> House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. Another book I might be saving for October. I've heard mixed things. Let me know. Um, the Fountains of Silence by Ruta Sepetis. Is this a YA book or not? I'm pretty sure. She writes a lot of YA historical books. And lastly, I have Again But Better by Christine Riccio. You know, Christine, she's um, put on Bananas Books here on YouTube. I haven't read it yet because I'm just so nervous. <laughs> but I think I'm going to probably love it because I love her so dearly. But yeah, those are all of the books I have on my TBR shelf. It's a lot. Like I said, it is slammed full. And I'm doing pretty good with reading this year. So... I hope to get to a majority of these. 
Like I've said repeatedly in this video, if you've read any of these, please let me know which books should I read ASAP, what books should I maybe skip and save for later, or just say goodbye to. Please help me out. I hope you enjoy this video and watching all of the many books I have to read. There's a lot, but I'm grateful for every one of them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.